this, right? Now, Uncharted 2 was a very challenging game to, you know, be able to put together. But in terms of multiplayer, like, how is you guys able to get multiplayer to have the same level of graphics as single player? Because that's a lot. But also, the dynamics of the multiplayer. Like, you could be hanging from the cliff, shooting somebody, you drop the roll, then get, then get like a shield, one around, and tell your whole boy to go around. It's a lot of games that have these features, but then there's only like one game that put all of it together right, right. and made it work. So, and you guys done that. So, what was the trick? Or what was the? Uh, it's no trick. It's just hard work, right? <laughs> we had a lot of really good people, right? Uh, and our, everybody in the studio works on the game, and including like the co-presidents. So, like uh, Christoph Lestra, he's a, he's a programmer, and he wrote like all the network for the, for the game. We're and he's really, also like, the president yeah. of the company. He's also, he's also, yeah, also he's running the company. That's, and running that's all crazy, that stuff. right there. That's amazing, right there. Because to me, I think the most impressive thing about the multiplayer is how smooth it runs. Like it, it, it's so smooth, like butter. Like and in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is the type of game that other developers need to follow. You know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah. for real. You know, because you don't really get these big single player experiences with the multiplayer like that. So I think that was great. Now, one thing I like about the multiplayer is the way you have a like the level up system where you can, you get points and then you buy. Yeah, the that story. Yeah. Is yeah. We right really like that. We, I mean, we want to do something with like you know an RPG light system. Okay. So. And then we figured, like, what's what's something that's in our universe? Like, money. Treasure hunters want yeah. money, right? So, like, putting that into a store was, yeah. like, a really obvious thing. So. That, that is incredible. Cool. Yeah. Now, I got a question. Have you guys ever thought about doing an online-only game since you guys basically mastered online? I mean, is that something? I mean, it could be a PSN maybe, I mean, like, download. Who but, knows, right? I mean, the, the thing is, like, we're, we're always going to keep expanding, expanding our multiplayer focus, right? It's not, okay. We're not giving up with the Charter 2, right? Yeah. So everything we go from here on out, we'll have network and stuff. So, you know, it's not like this is the last thing we'll ever do online. So whether okay. we ever do an all-online game, who knows? I'm not going to say never, but, you know, we have a strong single-player narrative focus yeah, sure. for our studio. So, you know, for the near future, I can't imagine doing that, but, you know, who knows? It's possible. You just said something. I'm not sure if you said uh, I, I just want to make sure I hear it okay. quick. You said Uncharted 2, like, we're not done with that. Like, we're basically yeah, we're not, not done with Uncharted 2. We're not done with Uncharted 2. We're definitely not done with Uncharted 2. So. Okay, so what can we expect with Uncharted 2? There's a DLC announcement coming up really, really soon that you guys will find out. So there's more stuff coming up. Is there a little piece of any type of hint I, you could give the hip hop I wish I could. Head? I wish I could. No, uh, Arnie specifically told us that we couldn't talk about it. But, oh, like, in the man. really near future, and we're going to yeah. announce a bunch of stuff from DLC. So that's um, great. That's yeah. great. Now everybody, everybody always talk about like right now, Uncharted and God of War. That's <laughs> what everybody's talking about because uh, these yeah. is like the top two leaders in our generation right now. So the game quality, yeah. seriously. Well, right? Our buddies on the God of War team yeah. will be very happy to hear. Or, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like I, I see those that. guys all the time. We're right we're around the corner. People like crossover between the two teams. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Phil Conrad, one of our sound guys, like he went straight off on Char 2 onto God of War 3. Yeah. Wow, wow. So, that's crazy. Was, uh, Warren Price was kind of a game designer on... Uh, yeah, Warren, like, Warren did a bunch of game design work for us on Uncharted Drake's Fortune and then, and then he went over to the God of War 3 team. That's so, crazy. Yeah. I, I, I was just with the guy Walter. I'm telling you, I love what they've done. Now, Rich, let me ask you this, man. Like, in your expertise, uh -huh. do you guys ever... Would, would you ever collab with another development studio to make one game? Because truthfully, oh, when right. you got the Some best ideas. of the best, like God of yeah, War, yeah, yeah, yeah. imagine those brains put together to make one major game. Exclusive for the PS3. Is that possible? It was basically we melted off. Oh! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yo, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. If there's a game that comes out and God of War 3 team and Uncharted 2 team is on it and he made it and it's PS3 exclusive, the industry is over. <laughs> that's it. In fact, I'm about to do a sit up right now. <laughs> Alright, okay, my, my abs is right because. The joint, the joint will be tight right now, so that's the way I feel about it personally. Now, Jacob, let me ask you. You should talk a little bit about the collaboration. Though. I mean, we do. We talk we do. To oh, what's up? Yeah, well, we talk to yeah. those God of War guys all the time, you know. And, oh, okay. uh, we love to compare notes. We love to like show each other the tool sets and the engines that we use. So, I mean, there's already a uh, little collaboration. Oh, going really? On there. Well, we cool. we love their work so much. We admire the work that their studio has done over the years so much that, and they're like one 
block from us in Santa Monica, so we couldn't resist the opportunity to, yeah. I was right. there, I could have came and saw y'all. You should have come see us <laughs> next time. Next time. Right. Next time. I would love to come see you guys. We'll, we'll, we'll be out there for E3. We'll be out there for E3. We'll yeah. love to visit the studio. That would be perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. We would keep in contact. Oh my God. We totally really appreciate it. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Now, Jake, let me, let me ask you this, right? In terms of playing the game, what was the best moment for you? I'm trying to besides the train scene, besides the train scene, the what was the best? What was the best moment for you? Because I want to see if you share the same like passion about certain parts of the game. But what was the best moment for you? Okay, so uh, all right, cool. that's a hard question. All right, all right. So uh, we'll make it up fast. Uh, yeah, you know what? It was when I played the collapsing building sequence. I was like, oh my god, is this the game we're making? Is, is, is this what we're doing? Because that was like the first crazy set piece that we finished, and I'm like, oh, oh I guess this is a pretty rad game. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. So, alright, that's great. So, I'm about to wrap it up right now. I just want to say thank you guys for your time. Thank you, guys you busy. And one more thing, Uncharted 3, will we see? Just yes or no, will we see? I mean, we're not going to ever give up the Uncharted franchise, so take okay. it or leave it. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah, baby. Make some more money for them. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, one love, God bless. Hip, hip, hop, gamer. Show.com. Naughty dog. It gets no bigger than that. Hey. I'm going to tell you right now, I will slap you. I will slap you. You want to know why? I'm standing next to a legend. Assassin's Creed 2 sold like 8 million. One of the reasons why is because of Leonardo da Vinci. That's him right here. Gears of War, dog. Right here. It's gangster right now. Yo, how do you do it? First of all, like, how do you do it? Like, do they add some effects to your voice, or do you really got that talent? Like, what's up, man? No, man, it's it's all that's the gig, man. Is you got to know how to do these voices, and it's worked out for me. You know, you got, you if you can do the dom, you know, sup bitches, you you, <laughs> you got a gig. You can, you know, you can say Ezio. You got that gig too, and you know, if you can be a tough guy, you can be Michael Corleone too. So yo, it, it's oh worked my, out all right. Oh my God, yo, that is legendary right there, man. Now let, let me ask you a question. First First of all, what is the experience like, you know, being in the booth and doing these vo voiceovers? Like, what is it really like in terms of it being your passion? Well, it's cool because I'm a fan. I, this, is, this is something I dig. It's not, a, there's, there's definitely actors out there that, you know, have been doing voiceover a long time, but, you know, they all kind of, the jobs run together. But for me, I'm a fan. I've got my consoles at home. I, I'm waiting for games to come out that I'm, that I'm not in, that I'm in. And I get excited just being involved in the process. So, like, I'm happy being South American mercenary, trying to kill James Bond in one game, and then being Leo in this, you know, big game, you know. It, it can be, it can be, a, it can be different uh, every time, but what always is a constant is that it's exciting because I'm a fan. I dig it. And that's important because that's coming from a true gamer at heart. You feel me? Now, what's the next project <laughs> that you try to, that, that you work, oh, that, you know what? I wouldn't say the next project that you're working on, but if there's a game out there that you would like to do, what would it be? You know, that's, that's, a, that's a hairy question, man. I, I, it's a good question. It's a big, it's like the million dollar question. Okay. But all I got to say is there's a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, fans of, uh, of games are, will not be disappointed. And okay. uh, I think that's about as specific by being non-specific, <laughs> that fans of, of, of your of franchises will not be disappointed this year or next year. Ooh, um, that's a nice little I, I, I won't say right I won't there. say I won't say this year, but you know, soon enough, everybody's gonna get what they're hoping for, what they're waiting for, and uh, you know, you heard it here. So there that's you go. what I'm talking about right now. Now listen, what's all right? I got you. Crackdown two footage going on right now. What's going on, baby? Oh, get his ass! Oh shit. So what happened right there, Hibop? <laughs> First of all, the game feels really, really good. Oh shit. Yo, the game is really Oh shit. Crazy. It's a lot more explosions, a lot more um, graphical detail with the special effects. That's really cool. Another thing about the game is that it feels a bit smoother than the um, part one, so that's very important. And the game it hasn't even been released yet, so there's still more tweaks, but it feels good.
That's sick, that over the shoulder rock. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Yo, tell me this show ain't banging, man. This show is the hottest Pats show you guys is going to see on the net, son. On the net.